I'm going to talk today about requisitions. Requisitions are one of the ways that a matter can arrive at court. And requisitions are proving increasingly popular with the police since the passing of the Policing and Crime Act 2017. The reason for this is that with the passing of the Policing and Crime Act 2017, there has been a reduction in the number of matters that have been dealt with by way of arrest. And the reason for that is the 28-day bail limit imposed by the Policing and Crime Act 2017. Therefore, with a reduction in the number of arrests and an increase in the number of voluntary attendances at the police station for interview under caution, there has been a need to look at how matters are brought to court. It used to be, and it still is for those matters that are brought to court as a result of arrest, that an individual would be charged by a custody sergeant and then either given police bail to attend at the local magistrate's court or the individual would be brought to court in custody by the police for the magistrates to determine whether or not they should be given court bail. However, with the passing of the Policing and Crime Act 2017 and the introduction of the 28-day bail limit, there has been a decrease in the number of arrests and an increase in the number of voluntary attendances. So, requisitions are a way for the police to get an individual to court who hasn't been arrested. The procedure is under Section 23 of the Criminal Justice Act 2003 and that provides a new method of instituting proceedings. It provides that a relevant prosecutor may institute criminal proceedings against, an against a person by issuing a document, a written charge, which charges the person with an offence. Now, in that section, a relevant person, relevant prosecutor, means a police force or a person authorised by a police force to institute criminal proceedings, or the director of the serious fraud office or a person authorised by him to institute criminal proceedings, or the director of public prosecutions or a person authorised by him to institute criminal proceedings. So you can see that under the requisition there is not a need for a police officer necessarily a police custody sergeant to be involved in charging an individual and bailing them or keeping them for court. It means that a person working for the police, and it may not necessarily even be a police constable, it could just be a civilian working for the police, can be authorised to instigate proceedings by way of requisition. That's helpful for the police if the individual hasn't been arrested. It means that the individual can be requisitioned to come to court rather than charged and bailed to come to court. However, there is a consequence, and I want specifically to talk just about summary offences here. I don't want to talk about either way offences or indictable only offences. In connection with summary only offences that appear by way of requisition, it may be that under section 122 of the Magistrates Courts Act 1980, the defendant, the person receiving the requisition, may decide that it is better for them to send their lawyer in person rather than for them to appear in person. And the reason for that is that if the individual goes to court physically in person themselves, then it is possible, indeed it's probable, that the magistrates may decide to put that individual on some form of court bail. That means that if the individual pleads not guilty to the summary offence, between that plea and any trial, they would be on court bail. And that could potentially mean that if they were accused of further offences, then the, the fact that they were on court bail at the time may potentially go against them. Therefore, it may be appropriate for such individuals charged with summary only offences and the proceedings starting by way of requisition, it may be appropriate for them to use section 122 of the Magistrates Courts Act 1980 to send their lawyer instead of them, because provided the lawyer attends on their behalf, 
then they are not deemed to be absent and therefore because they're not physically present it's not possible for a bench to put them on court bail. So in summary requisitions have increased as a result of the Policing and Crime Act 2017. The police have made use of their powers under Section 23 of the Criminal Justice Act 2003 to use requisitions instead as a way of bringing the matter to court. However, for defendants on summary only matters being brought to court by way of requisition, it may be appropriate for them to use Section 122 of the Magistrates Courts Act 1980 to send their lawyer instead of them attending physically in person.